sign off is in three days. I'm in disbelief. I cannot believe the words that I'm saying right now. Like it truly just has not processed for me yet. And today is also my last port day of the contract. We're in St. Martin. So I have just been enjoying the day all by my lonesome. I got off alone and I've just been enjoying the weather, the beach. I read my book a little bit. It's been really, really nice, very relaxing. And I wanted to make use of the day because tomorrow is a sea day as well as day seven. So I just enjoyed the most delicious gelato. If you are ever in St. Martin, it's the first place that you see that sells gelato as you're entering like the beach strip definitely recommend. I got Nutella flavored, which was so good. It's delicious. To be honest, I might actually head back soon. It's like 3.30, but I want to get some packing done. And I also do have, supposed to have fun plans tonight. We'll see if they actually follow through. But yeah, come along for the next three days of my life, the final three days of my contract on board the Wonder of the Seas. This is my little beach outfit of the day. I am wearing head to toe Princess Polly. So top is Princess Polly, linen pants are Princess Polly and I got them hem so they fit perfect. And then I've just got my little sunnies from Zara and then black flip flops. Super cute. And it is like a million degrees out today so I needed something breezy. so much better after that shower washed my hair blow dried my hair made a coffee and also I wanted to write down a list of all the things I need to do before I sign off because as you already know I'm a very type a person so I pretty much have a list for everything I'll probably add some things as the day goes on that I think of but so far the running list is pack my clothes obvious clean the bathroom, I have to grab new linen, I have to clean my coffee machine before I pack that, uh, wipe down the counters, organize my shelves, go through everything and get rid of whatever I'm not bringing home, double check my flights, I have an anklet that I got with my mom last week, I have to go up and get that sized on the promenade, I need to go through my makeup bag and throw out old makeup that I'm not, not using anymore. And then I have to empty out my locker because that thing is, it's rough. That's kind of like the forgotten place. It's where I throw like miscellaneous things and receipts and things like that. And sporadically throughout the contract, I organize it, but then somehow it gets messy again. So definitely need to go through that. I have the cabin myself. I'm not sure where Midori is, but I think this is the perfect time to start the process of packing the clothes away because the day is coming to a close which means I've got two full days left and I definitely don't need everything that's laying in my or hanging in my wardrobe. So here is the current state of my wardrobe. I still have quite a few things hung and there's there's still stuff in the like fabric cube I have. The issue I've come across is the fact that my luggage doesn't fit under the bed when it's zipped shut properly so right now I have it kind of like collapsed in itself in order to fit underneath the bed because there's not enough space so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my luggage and leave it outside 
the cabin door just because I really don't have anywhere else to put it. And this room is small enough as it is, so there is no space to just leave the luggage. So I am going to pack pretty much all this up, aside from like a few things. I have to leave my blues. We have two more days of all skates, and then we should be going to wine bar tonight, so I think I'm going to wear this little dress. So I'll leave that out, and then maybe just like a flannel and maybe a t-shirt, something else. But most of it's going to go away. And I did start packing some of my clothes, so I have three of my packing cubes up here that are stuffed. So these are also ready to just throw in my suitcase. get a move on it shall we at the moment I've got my carry-on bag inside of my checked luggage it's like those little Russian dolls you know you keep opening it and then there's a little a smaller one inside anyways this I'm gonna put to the side for now because carry-on doesn't need to be packed just yet however I do have Two more packing cubes in here. I don't know why they ended up in this bag as opposed to the other one, but I was looking for these. So I'm gonna pull these out and I think I'm gonna start with the closet and I'm going to pull everything I know I won't wear in the next two days. We pretty much have all skates and two more shows tomorrow. So I don't foresee myself wearing anything other than leggings and like an activewear top and I also need to think about what I will wear in the airport on Sunday. One thing about me is that I hate silence. Like I just I need at least some white noise. So I'm gonna pop my airpods in and listen to a podcast while I do this. Um, I downloaded a bunch of episodes from Gals on the Go so I think I'm gonna listen to one of those because that's like an hour-long podcast so it'll get me on my way. cubes are coming along pretty well. All four of these are filled to the brim with clothes and then this bag right here has all of my bathing suits and cover-ups in it. I definitely can add more like socks and underwear to that if I need because it isn't super super full but I think now I want to transfer these into the luggage. Ugh. Here we go. There is no space in this cabin. It's so freaking small. I forgot that I put one of my cubes in here already, so that's that's good. Here's another one to add to the pile. I'm gonna take out my backpack. And now we've got a nice empty luggage to get started with. The best part about packing cubes is that you just throw them on in and you're done. We've got one luggage completely full. There is still space on the left side if I want to add more, but I do need to check how much this weighs. I'm gonna leave that for the last day just because I'm I, I'm not about to deal with that right now, but I think we're at a really good place considering my second luggage is still completely empty and almost all of my clothes are in here. This is now what my closet looks like. So I have like a couple things left hanging and like two hoodies up there but everything else is empty so i'm feeling pretty pleased i'm gonna put this bad boy outside i think we're at a good place to stop here for now 
and then I can revisit this on day seven. Because honestly, almost all of my clothes are packed, which is pretty impressive. I'm so far ahead of the game than any other time I sign off. Never again will I wait till the last day to pack. Because I always think that it doesn't take that long, but it actually takes a lot longer than I expect. I still gotta do the shelves and my locker and like just other odds and ends around the room but that'll be for day seven or maybe I'll do a little bit of it tomorrow but I feel like that's good enough for today. to come up to the helipad and watch the sunset it is so beautiful it's just setting now and there's a slight breeze it's just perfect I would say I do a pretty good job of practicing gratitude but in moments like these is when I just feel extremely extremely grateful it's time for wine bar it's actually happening the cast is going to wine bar as a team. This is the first cast dinner and only cast dinner since I signed off in a couple days. So I've curled my hair. I've got my new dress on from Princess Polly. I feel like Princess Tiana in this. Tinkerbell. Or Tinkerbell, yeah. Midori says Tinkerbell <laughs> if I had blonde hair. And um, we're gonna go eat some pizza and drink some wine. And I'm really excited. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> this is what Midori's wearing. Super cute. Thank you! <laughs> everybody welcome, thank you so much for coming. Thank you everybody for being patient. say uh, your name and something about you? Um, my name is Midori. I'm from Japan. I'm a figure oh, What's your sign? Hmm? Sign? Aquarius. Oh my god. Okay. Oh? Oh, hi. Sorry. <laughs> say again? Um, what's your name? My name is Ivan. And uh, something interesting about you? Uh, it's not my size. Can you go on this way? Okay, I'll turn. I think I'll tell you one story. I was in Japan. Uh, okay, it's not interesting. <laughs> chin chin, guys. Chin chin. I'm oh, actually not drinking. <laughs> Last night was so much fun. I had such a good time with the cast. Like, it was so needed, and we were all really appreciative that we were able to go and have a meal together because reservations are pretty much impossible on the ship. Every restaurant is always booked out, so we haven't been able to do a cast dinner since the beginning of the contract. And in my opinion, it was just the perfect way to end out a great contract and getting to spend some more quality time with the cast that I love so dearly. So yeah, it was such a good night, and now I'm up and at them. I've got all skates this morning, and then we have our last two shows to perform in tonight. Two more summers, and I'm out. Can't even believe it. I am exhausted though, so we'll have to regroup for later. <laughs> it just doesn't really feel like a show day either. Whenever we have all skates before shows, it just doesn't feel like a show day. So I've got to run there and I've got about an hour and a half of work, I want to say. And then I want to come back here and hopefully tackle a little more of the cabin. I think I want to move on to the shelves and also like the um, cube because I have some stuff under there as well. This is called balance. I've just had a really nice lunch with Mo and Andre and now I need to get back to packing I think because I do have the cabin to myself at least for a little bit. 
I want to try and make tomorrow as easy as possible for myself. And the more I do now, the less I'm going to have tomorrow. So I think now I'm going to move on to my shelves and maybe the ottoman that I'm sitting on. I really don't have too many things on the shelves, which is going to be easy. But I do need to tackle this because that is concerning. It's a little bit of a chaotic mess. And then I have my half of the ottoman, which is mostly food, but I am going to just give away the protein. I am still going to have to leave some stuff on the shelves, but I am going to try and take down everything that I definitely won't need. Because this stuff's like already packaged up, I can just throw it in the bag, you know? It's the lashes for me. They were literally just underneath everything else on my shelf. Like, why are these even here? <laughs> Life of a showgirl. We're doing good. Now it's time to tackle this beast. My least favorite part to get through. But I actually feel like it might not be too bad. Believe it or not, it has looked worse on other ships. So let's get to it. really good progress and I'm pretty much done with the cabin like I still have a few more things to go through but for the most part I'm almost done so I'm feeling really good I'm at a really good place considering last contract I waited to do everything until the final day my life is gonna be a heck of a lot easier tomorrow and I'm not feeling the anxiety of running out of time I do need to get ready because it's almost time for warm-up ice so I've got to change, and luckily I don't have many options of what to wear because there's nothing in my closet left. I can't even believe that tonight is the last two shows of the contract. And like I said before, if you missed the closing night vlog, go check that out. But today's shows aren't even full shows for me. I'm literally just in the summer section. My show in total tonight is probably like seven minutes long, maybe five minutes. And then after that, I officially close a chapter on 365. getting ready for the show one last time I just went with my classic orange and yellow eyeshadow look my braids are making me look a little bit bald so I'm not sure what that's about but we are ready for the two shows and now we've got notes at 6 15 and then the first show is at 7 o'clock but it's so weird I didn't have to preset all of my costumes just the summer costume because that's the only section I'm doing just finished the first show. It was the weirdest experience of my life. 
like I don't even know how to put it into words but it was just really bizarre because I was part of the show but only like the teeniest section of it so you know every other show day I'm in the show but this time I just sat backstage and started getting my skates on and dressed when the music to the show began it was weird and then the solo went really well but like I wasn't warm I hadn't even touched the ice yet and usually by the end of opening I'm sweating and my skates have softened and I've settled in but this time I just like stepped on the ice did the solo had whips and got off so it just didn't feel like an actual show I don't know but anyway <laughs> we have one more like that and then that is it for me then I am out of here one thing I need to do before I sign off is clean out my cubby. That is something that I added to the list last night, and I feel like now is a perfect time to get it done because nobody's in here, and I need to have it cleaned out anyways after the second show so that Moa can put all her things in here. So I really don't have much, but we're just going to take care of this now. I'm gonna sign my cubby because everyone signed it so far so it's my turn but the angle's really weird because I'm so short oh that's a good idea I was like I don't know what to do for mine one two three, one, two, three. financial, I did laundry, I dropped off my Wi-Fi shirt, so I've had a very productive morning so far, and now I've made my way to the gym for one last workout. I want to get a little bit of movement in today because tomorrow I'm going to be sitting in the airport and on the flight, so I won't really have much time to move my body. I'm here now, I think I'm going to do like a 40 minute Pilates video and maybe walk the track a bit, but I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at for today. I'm not in too much of a hurry. Tonight I want to watch the tech run and we do have a champagne toast. I just know that the day is going to go by so fast because the last day just goes by in a blink of an eye every contract. So I'm just trying to soak in every last bit of time here on board. back from my sign off meeting usually sign off meetings take about 10 minutes tops maybe 15 if we're pushing it because all we have to do is pick up a paper and like luggage tags for our bags when we drop them off tonight but somehow that meeting went an hour and 20 minutes long how I don't know it was just a little bit of nonsense but <laughs> to calm myself down I've made a coffee um, this is actually my first coffee of the day, and it will be the last coffee of the contract with the machine. So, I gotta pack this bad boy up, and I wanna pack up laundry I did this morning and the rest of the odds and ends. And I also need to go through a few more things in the room and figure out what I'm leaving for the cast. I need to wrap her up. <laughs> I used to have that, like, big hoodie. Mm -hmm. That's what I came with. Now I don't have that, so hopefully this will do. That'll work. My door is open. 
in the, the loft space. I'm, I'm just escaping from this um, stormy situation <laughs> in the room <laughs> with my um, with my switch. She's been in another dimension. <laughs> I'm like not even sure which one to weigh first. I feel like I should weigh the pink one first. You know, save the hope for this one. I'm honestly a little concerned. I feel like I probably underestimated how much these weigh, but I do have hope because I came with protein powder, which weighed like three pounds, and I don't have protein powder coming back with me. Here goes nothing. First one. Okay. Well, that's an angel number if I ever saw one. It says 22.2 kilo, and the limit is 23. So I don't know how accurate my scale is, but if it is accurate, then that one is okay. And this one I think is significantly less weight. So let's see here. <sighs> Round two, here we go. This one says 20.9 kilos. So if these are accurate drawings, then I am in the clear. But I am still a little bit nervous because... Last time I had a really bad fiasco with my bags and the girl was not helpful. She was not in a good mood at the airport. Personally, I love travel days. I know they can be stressful, but honestly, I, I do them so often that I'm used to it now. I love the feeling of being in an airport, but weighing luggage coming home from a contract is never fun. I think it's going to be fine. And I really do still have a little bit of space in my rolly carry-on and my backpack. So if I need to pull some of the like heavier things from the bags, I can shove it in there. So I think we're gonna be okay. Thank you so much guys, thank you so much for joining Cast 3. Yep. We're gonna miss you guys a lot. Thank you so much. Cheers. 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 One last check word for the audience. Naschledano means bye. That's a really bye. extensive goodbye. <laughs> Naschledano. Bye. Naschledano. Another one. DJ Khaled. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to not cry right now. <laughs> you would think after so many contracts it would get easier, but it just it doesn't. Especially when you love the people that you work with. I really told myself I was not going to cry tonight, but here we are. <laughs> I was doing really well. I didn't cry for closing night. I didn't cry for like my day six show. Like even throughout the day today I was fine, but having to say the like official goodbye or see you soon that one really got me and like i was just up with everyone at the bar so i got to say goodbye to everyone and it's just it's the worst part of this job i hate that feeling you know it's the coolest thing to share your job 
with people all over the world and like honestly these people become family because you live with them you work with them you eat with them you do everything with these people and they really do become your family and your backbone and your support system on the ship because you know without each other you could not survive so I'm just feeling all the emotions because I really wish that I had more time with these people. Like, I love this cast and it's a, it's a bittersweet moment for sure because I'm so excited for the future. But at the same time, like, it's it still sucks. I, I hope I run into everyone down the road at some point. I'll still be with Sergey, Joanna, and Gleb tomorrow because they're also signing off. So at least... I have a little more sadness left for me tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get to bed, try to get some sleep because I have to sign off tomorrow at 9 a.m. We're meeting, so not too early. And everything is pretty much ready to go. I just wanna wake up, double check the room. Like, well, not double check. I wanna check it like eight times because that's how I am. A little bit of a lunatic. But I just wanna check everything, make sure I didn't forget anything. I wanna take a shower, I wanna eat breakfast. And I just don't wanna rush. So that's my plan. I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you once again for being here. And I will see you when we are in route for Buffalo. Bye guys. <laughs>